Hey, good evening, everybody. Mark here at Discover Your Home. Thank you again for joining me here this Thursday evening here in the Chicagoland area. A beautiful spring, brisk spring evening. And I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. Tonight, we're going to talk a little bit about what we call in the remodeling industry is, hey, Concord, thank you for joining us. Um, aging in place. Uh, for, and it's really just a, 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 a phrase that was coined in our industry uh, to talk about since we have uh, a large uh, segment of our uh, populace that is uh, getting a little bit older, and uh, that's the good thing, right? We have that or the alternative. And uh, so we want to be able to stay in our home um, as long as physically uh, possible. And uh, I see a lot of it with our customers that uh, they love their home. Uh, it's where they raise their children and shared memories with friends and neighbors and built a lot of uh, relationships there. And, you know, going, you know, heartbreak and all the things that go, go in life. And uh, it's a part of them. It's not just a, a building that houses uh, them for their, their basic needs, even though it does that. Uh, it, it's much more than that. It's 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 a place where um, you know, as they say, memories are built. So, uh, what can we do to make your life a little bit more convenient and a little bit easier and a little bit safer? So, I'm going to give a couple tips tonight on what uh, we recommend to our customers and some of the things that we see in the marketplace that are out there. Uh, when our customers are getting up there in the years. And, and, and some of this I can attest to from, uh, for safety purposes, we talk a little bit about grab bars and um, you know, slip resistant materials for flooring and uh, things of that nature. I broke my leg last year and hobbling around on crutches and then in a cast. Um, you know, your, your worldview kind of changes because, you know, uh, you break your leg at, at 19, uh, it's a little different than when you break your leg at 50. Uh, you're not as quite as mobile or nimble, um, at least I'm not, uh, not nearly as nimble as I was when I was 19. So let's talk a little bit about some things that we can, we can start off that will help you um, stay in your home longer, help you have a little bit more convenient life, have a safer home. So let's start at the front door. A, a lot of homes don't have this, but I always try to recommend, um, uh, especially if you don't feel comfort, com comfortable answering your front door, uh, you know, either, uh, you know, one of you guys, you, you or your husband, go ahead and put in a little peephole there or have a handyman come by, drill a hole, put a little peephole in the front door. That's really kind of nice. You guys also can do security cameras outside the front door. Uh, they have some very cost-effective systems out there where um, you, know, you come to the come to the door and the camera uh, camera will go on. I think there's also a system called Ring that's out there that uh, will ring the doorbell and the and it actually sends a um, it, it calls your phone and basically uh, you 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 answer back at, through your phone and. Uh, you could be somewhere else, not even actually in the home. So it just shows that um, you know these are little features that can uh, help uh, add convenience and safety to your life. So those are three things that we haven't gone inside the home. So uh, starting at the front door. Also, let's make sure we're putting our exterior lights on timers uh, or motion sensors somewhere where um, the lights are going on and off in case you guys are not at home uh, and you don't have somebody checking in on your home or neighbors away or whatever, uh, it certainly doesn't hurt to have um, your lights on a, either a timer or motion detector. Um, we do watch uh, a couple homes for, for customers, and the one thing that I notice, um, and, I, and I, I'm really in tune when I go through a neighborhood, if I see four, five, six newspapers in the driveway that tells me that um, somebody's not around to pick them up or somebody's just not getting out of the house possibly. So um, just a signal there to you. So that's kind of the safety aspect. Now let's kind of, let's talk a little bit about maybe moving into the front, into the house. Um, 
going, you know, your your egress from the garage into the house or from the front door or even from, say, your patio, uh, consider possibly putting in a ramp with, uh, you know, slip-resistant material or possibly having concrete work done or brick paver work done so uh, you have access, a little bit greater access instead of just stairs. So uh, I find a lot of my more seasoned customers are doing this probably more so in their garage uh, because when they pull the garage, pull in the garage, everything's nice and dry. Um, you know, lo loading those those bags of food and foodstuffs into the house, um, it's a little easier to kind of go up the ramp uh, as opposed to stepping up those couple of stairs into into the uh, say generally your laundry area or possibly directly into your kitchen. Um, let's see. No slip materials in your garage. Uh, you know, they make uh, quite a bit that's out there where there's aggregate or flakes in material that, uh, you know, they're uh, polyspartic coatings or epoxy coatings. If you want to kind of make a more decorative look, it certainly would really just add to um, not only the look of your home, uh, but also the safety of your, you know, of your home. Especially, uh, we want to make sure, especially in this northern region, uh, LaBelle, how are you tonight? Um, it's especially winter time, you know, because we get a lot of snow. Uh, you know, sits on your sits on your uh, concrete, and it can get really slippery. So we want to make sure that we're going ahead and making sure that we're putting down slip resistant coatings. Also, say in your shower, um, if you're looking to stay a little bit longer. Uh, we are in the midst of doing a project right now that a um, couple is in their uh, early 60s, but they know that they want to stay as long as possible. Putting in a curbless shower, really a great idea. Uh, making access, uh, we're going to put in a walk, you know, a walk-in shower with uh, um, uh, a shower wand, a rain head, uh, access to be able to, if at some point in time, a uh, homeowner would, you know, needs a walker or a wheelchair to have access into the room. Um, so having that curbless shower would be able to nice. You don't have to go over a curb. Usually a, you'll have a, a, a trenchless, um, excuse me, you'll have a trench area. Uh, very expensive though. Um, not in all cases, uh, you know, def I guess define expensive. Um, you know, it really depends on on what your what your plans are. There are some materials out there um, that are ready made that you can easily put in, and um, they're pretty cost effective. As a uh, as a poured what we call a poured shower pan, uh, more expensive than say a standard say a fiberglass tub or base. Uh, absolutely, but uh, there again, we're talking about staying in your home as long as possible. So, hey Alexis, how are you tonight? Hopefully, all things are well. A lot more than normal tile shower. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's just a yes. They are different. It's it's not the same animal. But there again, I'm not looking. Uh, you know, I'm looking for you to stay in your home as long as partner, as long as possible. Hey, silent partner, eighty eight. How are you tonight? Um, so, uh, and, the, and also that the, the tile industry gives a, uh, resistance, slip resistance, uh, uh, number to how they measure these, the resistance of, you know, you walking on, uh, types of tile, some that are much more higher in number that actually, um, uh, no, I'm not, I try not, I try to stay off as many roofs as possible. <laughs> uh, been on quite a few, so thank you. Um, so they, they're in the industry. There's a uh, what they call it the dy dynamic coefficient of, of friction. So the higher the number, the better. So uh, the better, the the more uh, uh, friction that you get on your feet, the the greater chance of you uh, not slipping. Uh, and home modification with catastrophic injuries for I do home modification. Okay. Yes. There's a, and there's a great need for um, modifying home, grab bars, um, things of that that nature will really make a difference. Like I said, I broke my leg last year, and I do not have a um, grab bar 
in my shower, the access to my shower, uh, definitely when I go to reconfigure my um, bathroom, uh, will definitely be in mind because I there again I'm planning on wanting to stay in my home as long as possible because that's kind of what we're talking about tonight is being able to stay uh, as as long as possible. I think it's uh, I think it's very important. Um, you know I, I I told a story earlier uh, tonight about a couple that I had done work for that were in their early 80s and decided that they wanted to stay in their home, so converted their uh, living room uh first floor living room into their master bedroom and bath and they left the bedroom upstairs because they had a flight of i think it was 13 stairs to go up and they decided that uh, it was no longer feasible for them to do so so they decided to uh, convert that uh, big living room area of which they really didn't quite utilize into a a, a full-size master bedroom and master bath and uh I don't I haven't followed up with them that was many years ago but it was great to see because they were a loving couple that really wanted to stay and the place that they uh, raised their children they saw their grandchildren being raised and uh, was vitally important and very important yeah it is important because you know you, like as I said earlier tonight it's not just about um, it's not just about uh, your home it's really about the things that happen in your home, the relationships, the um, the things that have gone on, the the memories that have been shared, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, um, I think I pretty much covered everything. We we'll talk a little bit about maybe also um, uh, areas that you know possibly in your shower, putting a seat bench in. Uh, they also have some nice. Um, uh, seat benches that are actually more like stools that you can just slide back and forth. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think Sterling, which is a division of Kohler, is one we put in for a customer, and I sat on it. I'm not a I'm not a small potato, uh, so certainly uh, I sat on it. I want to see the stability of it. Uh, being a larger guy, to feel how secure it is and how it feels. Say if you're, you know, in a in a uh, situation, say in a shower where there's soap and it gets a little slippery, uh, those are certain certainly things that you can utilize and uh, use in your your bathroom area. Uh, comfort high toilets, uh, they're just a little bit taller. Uh, we find that a lot of our customers are moving towards those. So these are a couple little items that you know I'm going to suggest that you you put in your home. Uh, if you if you've been there 10, 15, 20 years, how, how you know, I've been in my home at least 20 years. Uh, I've been, I'm in, a, uh, right now we're in a, a project, the homeowner's been in their house for 25 years. You know, people have been there, they want to stay there. Uh, they got great neighbors, they love the, they love the neighborhood, they know where the, f you know, they know where the grocery store are, you know, uh, don't need to look commercial. No, they don't. In fact, there are some beautiful ones we just installed uh, for a customer and they were uh, by Moen, and they were very uh, ornate, looked really great, very, yeah, they were not, um, not um, um, commercial-like, so uh, I would agree with that statement. There's, there's a lot out there that's available. Uh, look around, Moen carries, um, Moen carries quite a bit. I also believe Delta does a, a nice job that carries it. Hey, Lady Bex, thank you for joining us. I appreciate that. Um, so I think that pretty much ends up aging in place and some of the convenience and safety that we can offer. The insurance care will pay for it and the installation. Yeah, I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I know there are some ways to um, some insurances. I think long-term care insurance will take care of some of these items. Not a hundred percent sure. Check with your carrier. That's all I can tell you. Uh, honestly, it's one of those things. It's um, uh, there's read the fine print. So I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight, and all of you ladies out there. Uh, I would wish you a happy Mother's Day. Uh, if somebody, you know, if your mom or your soon-to-be mom, we appreciate it, uh, and that uh, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully, it's a beautiful time. Uh, this weekend for you uh, you moms out there. So, uh, and if you're not a mom, go hug your mom, okay? 
Uh, have yourself a great evening. Again, I'm Mark with Discover Your Home. Have yourself a great evening. Thanks again. Good night. <laughs>